welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, of course, Willow Riley, coming back at you with a new video. So if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome to the family. Come join, hang if you want. If you are an old subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys. We're almost at 4K subscribers. I'm so happy that we have almost reached this goal. It has been a long couple of years, but I'm so grateful and thankful for all my subscribers. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So in this video, I want to talk about a law of attraction phenomenon that is called everything is energy. And I'm actually surprised that a lot of people don't know this, that your energy can be picked up on by other people and whatever you put out into the world comes back. You know, a law of attraction coach that I still follow on YouTube to this day said something that really stuck with me, and it's where attention goes, energy grows. So that means whatever you're thinking about most of the day, whatever you are more importantly feeling most of the part of the day, creates your actions and creates your reality. Say you get out of bed and you're in a good mood, but you stub your toe and you're like, oh gosh, that hurt. Oh, it's going to be a bad day. Your day is going to be bad because you just manifested it into being bad. Now you're training your mind into seeing all of the negative aspects. You're training your mind to see everything that's wrong. And whenever we project energy onto other people, people can pick up on that. If you have in the back of your mind this story, this notion that this person is going to be rude to me, this person is closed-minded, this person is you know, not a good person or whatever, that's how they're going to show up in your reality. But on the other hand, if you are positive, if you're optimistic and you have forgiveness for someone and you're like, they're, they have change or this is a good person. This person always wants to hang out with me. This person is my best friend. This person is my lover. This person is a great sibling, a great parent, a great child, a, like daughter, son, whatever, whatever. That's what's going to happen. And it's crazy to me how many people don't understand that your energy can be picked up on by the world. And this also goes for sexual energy. Whatever, if you are thinking about a certain person when you're, you know, doing the deed, <laughs> they can pick up on that. And it's a form of manifestation because our sexual energy comes from our solar plexus chakra. And that's why it's really important that you should only share your sexual energy with someone that you feel a special connection to. Because one, if you're doing this with a partner, right? Whatever they are going through in their current moment of life, this could be a really great person, you know, really great qualities, a lot of potential, but they're going through depression, loneliness, addiction, alcoholism, whatever. They're gonna transfer all that energy onto you and you're gonna end up feeling bad the next day. On the other hand, if you are with someone who is more spiritual, someone who is more goal-oriented, someone that is just naturally happy, naturally optimistic, playful, fun, you're gonna also feel that energy influence on you and vice versa. You know, that energy is gonna be picked up on. And I didn't realize this when I was growing up. I thought that, you know, sexuality, it was simply an act, it was very casual, it had no effect on me, but learning more about spirituality, learning more about the law of attraction, learning more about every person is simply energy and it can be changed and it can be picked up on and it can be transferred has caused me to be more careful with that. And whenever you want to manifest something, you can do this by yourself with your sexual energy and I didn't really realize this for a while and I realized, wow, I'm super powerful, especially if you channel that sexual energy into something that is creative because sexual energy is not just the act of sex, the act of masturbation. Sexual energy is creativity. It's uh, making videos, making podcasts, playing a musical instrument, writing. Whenever I, I feel a buildup of frustration with my energy, if I go skateboard for an hour or longboard for an hour, or if I go write a beautiful story and I'm thinking about a certain scenario where, you know, I have a lot of money or I have my dream job or I'm with my dream person or I'm with my dream friend, 
they will end up contacting me or that job will end up coming into my life because I have channeled that energy into something productive. And that's not to say I don't I don't want to shame anyone for, you know, going out there and doing their thing, you know, get it. But <laughs> there, there's also other ways you can channel it. And it's, it's, it's a really beautiful thing. But do know that your energy is powerful. Whenever you have a thought about a certain person, that thought is transmuted to the other person's head. And they're a reflection back. Everyone is you turned inside out. And I have a video on this. I, I think it's in my drafts, but I'm going to publish it soon. But yeah, dude, if people are showing up in your life kind of rude, kind of... Um, not the way you want to, you can change that by simply changing your thoughts on them, changing your beliefs on them, changing the story you have attached to them. If you think a certain person is a player or whatever, you're going to start talking to your friends and your family and saying, oh, they're always messing around with so-and-so and I know that they're lying about this and blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? That person is going to end up doing that because you're talking about it so much because you believe it so strongly. And a good example of this, I forgot to look it up, but I'll attach it later. There was a celebrity that said, it was a male celebrity, and he said, I am never going to get married for the rest of my life. I do not want a wife. I do not want a long-term commitment. I'm just not going to get married. And that's the end of that. And a lot of females that were interested in this man were steered away. They're like, oh, he doesn't want to get married. He doesn't want a family. He doesn't want to settle down. I'm not even going to try. But there was another celebrity, and I believe they were both actors and actresses, who came into his life and was like, nah, buddy, you're going to marry me. I'm going to be your wife. I'm the one. And because she had a belief system that was so strong... And she had a story that attached to him that deep down he did want a commitment. He did want to be married. She changed the narrative and they ended up being happily married. So it's like it doesn't matter what someone says to you, what someone acts, what they do. If you have a narrative in your mind, if you have a belief system in your mind, if you have this energy that no, this is meant to be. They simply don't know it yet. Deep down, this is what they want. I am the one. I've got that special something. Then that's how your reality is going to change. Just like my reality with this video is, I feel like there's going to be a lot of cars passing. There's a lot of cars passing because that's just the way it is. <laughs> but everything is energy. Um, nothing is really good or bad you can there is the energy of things that are ethically right and ethically wrong we all have a moral compass but you can't have the darkness without the light we would never discover happiness if we did not have sadness we would never appreciate abundance if we did not have lack we would never appreciate success without the struggle so do know that your energy is powerful if you want to manifest something simply write down like write down sit down Get in a meditative state and visualize, you know, your dream life, your dream job, your dream partner, and act like it has already happened. Tell your friends, I'm in a loving, happy relationship. I'm living my dream life. Every day I wake up, I'm, I have the best day ever. My day is lucky. You'll see this to be true on my lucky Tuesdays. I never say I have a bad Tuesday. Every Tuesday I have is lucky because I wake up in the morning and I set an alarm saying this is a lucky Tuesday and it just happens. Every single thing is energy. So if you change your attitude, if you change your perspective, more importantly, if you change those stories you have about your friends, family, romantic partners, job, career, dream life, parenting, family, what the heck ever you want that you don't already have and you simply embody that and you say, this is my life now. Uh, and you visualize it or you use your sexual energy to manifest it, then that's what's going to happen for you. So thank you so much for coming to this video. Please let me know if you would like more Law of Attraction videos. Drop a red heart emoji if you made it this far. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.